Last night, I was resting, allowing the shadows to flow around me. And then, suddenly, something happened. I can't explain it, but it was as if there was a light within me that flipped on. It was the strangest feeling, and I have no idea why it happened. I tried to ignore it, but the feeling grew and grew until I had to leave the darkest parts of the cave I've been using as a home. It was like being attached to the end of a bungee cord, and it was being snapped back after having been stretched. Without even realizing it, I started moving through the woods. The moonlight shining through the trees didn't deter me, even though I had no idea where I was going. The next thing I knew, I was blending into the darkness of the tree line near Jace and Dakota's home. I couldn't take my eyes off a particular window, no matter how many times I tried. It felt like my feet were weighed down with cement. I couldn't move from the spot, even when the sky started to lighten with the dawning of a new day. I stayed in one place, my eyes fixed on one window. Caroline's name became a chant, whispered in my ears, as the shadows around me fought against the sun to remain. I've been hiding in the slipstream of darkness all day while I watched. I haven't been able to see very much, but I'm afraid to go closer. It wasn't until much later in the afternoon when I realized Caroline turned 18 today. I've been trying to figure out what it all means since then. Why does it matter that she's 18? Why can't I seem to move or ignore the need to be close? I don't have anyone to talk to about it, and I'm still stuck here. It feels like everything riots inside of me whenever I try to step deeper into the woods and find a hiding spot amongst the shadows. I've watched Caroline celebrate her birthday with little fanfare and a lot of love. I found myself smiling as I was watching what was going on in their house in the woods. It was something I've missed out on, having someone to smile with. But then the bitterness would remind me that no one cared if I was there or not. The people of Screaming Woods and my adoptive parents made that abundantly clear when they forgot about me. When they allowed me to be swallowed up by the darkness, never wondering where I had gone or why I wasn't around anymore. <laughs>